take me to him. No, he's injured. He's injured. How did he get injured? Was that me? I'm his little sister, after all. So he will soon be my brother-in-law. Who is that? Is she hurt? This is my girlfriend. I bought her in a shop. Her asshole brother caused the zombie outbreak. I don't know much more than you at this point, okay? Brad, I'm in love. Do not kick her out. Please do not kick her. Please. Brad, please. Consider her in DHS custody. She's in Frank West custody. Good man, Kendall. You make yourself at home. And if Ronald starts talking to you about some shit about leaving, you tell him to fuck off, alright? Santa Cabeza. Where do I need to be for Santa Cabeza to activate? Is that here in this room? Yeah. Alright, what do we think, folks? Will I make it down to do a boss fight between now and then? I'll save first. Oh, something to remember, my my favourite women boy. I didn't mean to... Sorry, Jesse, I didn't mean to do that. You should be careful where I'm pointing this thing. Do you guys want to see something funny? Look at this. No, not that. <laughs> he got the head on. Lloyd wants some wine. Great. Ouch. Now I need to drink that quick step. Or else I will die. Whee! Those who reject salvation... Easy peasy. Food court. Yeah, that's probably the safest place. Thank you. And the guns. The boss is not still there. We got the boss already. I know you can find it in the North Plaza as well, but that's really far away. Ouchies. It's not a real Sean. He had no fodder. True. Look. One of them American Sean's. Cheryl, hey. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude. I just want to check if this box rolls a wine. No. Okay, Cheryl, let's go. Fuck you. Fuck you. See, I've gotten wine from the cardboard boxes before, which would be absolute best case scenario, so I don't have to risk missing the Santa Cabeza thing. I also don't want to be going too far with fucking five people following me. No, I don't think I have time to run and... I think we're bolting to the food court. What are you guys doing? Let's come around the fucking door, Jesus Christ. Right, just fucking go to the door. You don't have to pick fights. Okay, I think I'm just going back. Ray, come fucking over here. Stop punching people in the head. Now, this way. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I go back to the security room, does do I need to give him that fucking wine thing, like, right now? Nathan and Ray are going to be the death of me. Stop picking fights with the brainless undead. They don't care if you're cool. They just want to eat you. Stop it! Stop it! Alright, well, you're dead. Fuck you. I don't care. I actually don't care. Good riddance. I forgot to tell them to come on. And now there's ten hunting knife people there. Great! I love this game, it's so fun! Yippee! Nathan, did you not just watch Ray die? Let's learn from his mistakes. Fist fighting the supernatural undead is not a good idea. I'm gonna turn around and Nathan's gonna be punching some fucker who was like ten miles away. Oh no, here you are. Who are we missing? Michelle, come on. <gasps> I learned that. Oh, boys. Business just picked up. We learned the best move in the game. Business is booming. I'm gonna miss Santa Cabeza because of these slow fucks. I'm beelining and I'm coming back for them. 
I'm beeline and I'm coming back for them. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <sighs> what is your name? The love of my life. Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella. Say it right. It's an emergency. So we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything. She got the keys to my heart, indeed. Very true. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. She's all right. There was all right. no drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility, Dr. Barnaby. Oh my god. Huh? huh? He's turning! Oh no. Kick him! Yes, man! Frank West. He's been waiting for an excuse to kick old men. And he's finally got it. <laughs> Fucking Omega Chad. Did you see how I kicked that fucking seven-year-old man? Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Was it the uh, <laughs> penalty kick to the old man's head that sold it for you? <laughs> Jesus. Zombie. <laughs> no, you're just a freak. Tell me the truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? Doesn't that face say it all? Yes. <laughs> conducting experiments to reduce the cost of breeding. Breeding what? We accidentally made zombie livestock. Frank, I think you need to kick him again. Encore. So the government's now in the zombie making business. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover up? What do you know? You don't raise your voice to me. You are in punt range. Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume in a single day? This much or this much? I'm an expert, by the way. Research was absolutely necessary! Your voice right now is really lending to the authority of what you're saying. <laughs> he would be great at the Al Shan now singing. He's got to look for it as well. He's got the attitude of a boomer. I haven't done that wrong. Have we seen any other zombie do that? Did he just... Is he freestyling? That... What are we, fucking... A year later? Has he decomposed in the last 10 seconds? What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I look like when I don't wake up in time. In my village. The people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. 
they escaped from the lab. I think one of the reasons I love this game so much is like... <laughs> it wasn't long before they got to work. At its core, the plot is like your average yeah. B movie, right? The army was called. Or Wasp movie, hey. No, um... But all of the voice actors play it completely fucking straight. Like, it's... it's They are committed. They deliver every line with the fucking gravitas of a Shakespearean play. <laughs> Move. We watched an old man have a fucking not very convincing seizure and then decompose in 10 seconds. And then she was like... In my village. In like like a really convincing... <laughs> I love it. I think like... Satire and comedy is so much better when you have everybody playing it completely straight. Dead serious. The comedy comes from the circumstance rather than the delivery. Do you know what I mean? Serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. And then, yeah, the costumes add so fucking much. Can you imagine that? monologue and then it cuts to frank wearing a fucking horse's head or wearing the the lego heads and he's like but then he delivers a line of like whoa that's fucked up <laughs> like nobody in the scene is addressing the fact that he's wearing some fucking <laughs> a children's toy on his head a muppet's christmas carol is exactly like what i'm talking about it's exact that very good show. Very good show. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. Let's go, Brad. What's the plan? <laughs> 